Hi friends and welcome to lesson two here in our acid base unit. Lesson two is going to look at neutralization reactions. Here we see an ancient tube of Alka-Seltzer and you may be familiar with Alka-Seltzer. You take it when you have an upset stomach or your stomach is not feeling so good. And the reason why this works is because your stomach produces a lot of gastric juice. And one of the main ingredients of gastric juice produced by these parietal cells is hydrochloric acid. If your stomach is producing too much hydrochloric acid at the wrong time, you may not feel very comfortable. And that's when you turn to Alka-Seltzer, which is going to neutralize some of the hydrochloric acid in your stomach, bring the pH back up a little bit and make you feel a little bit better. At least that's what we hope. So a neutralization reaction is a double replacement reaction between an acid and a base. The general formula is to take an acid and a base and react them together. That's going to produce a precipitate, which is water in this case, and an ionic compound, which is gonna be called a salt. Here's an actual example. Hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide react together to produce H2O, that comes from the proton on the acid and the hydroxide from the base, and NaCl, which is a salt. Here's what it looks like diagrammatically, and you can see where each different substance comes from and where it winds up. Does this make sense? Let's try an example. This is on page seven in our unit 11 packet. Write the balanced neutralization reaction between sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide. Pause the video, try it on your own, and then when you're ready, we'll go through it together. So I'm gonna figure out the formulas for my substances. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4, potassium hydroxide is KOH. I know that I'm gonna produce water and a salt, so that's gonna be H2O, and my salt is going to be made out of the cation of my base, and the anion of my acid, potassium and sulfate, sulfate's minus two, potassium's positive one, so the formula for that salt is K2SO4. Now I need to figure out if this equation is balanced. It is not balanced, so in order to balance it, I need to put a two in front of the KOH, which is gonna produce two water molecules as a result. Does this make sense? If it doesn't, write down any questions that you have before we move on. One major place where we deal with neutralization reactions is in an acid-base titration. A titration is just a controlled neutralization reaction, which helps us determine the concentration of an unknown acid or base by reacting it with one of a known concentration. The star of the show is going to be the burette, which is a piece of apparatus that we can use in order to get very accurate volume readings during the titration. We'll demonstrate exactly how a titration works in class. It involves the use of an indicator and very precise measurements of the volumes of liquids that we're adding to the setup. But for right now, all you need is an understanding that it's a controlled neutralization reaction so that we can use the titration formula, which is on reference table T. The titration formula is MAVA equals MBVB, where MA is the molarity of the protons, MB is the molarity of the hydroxide ions, VA is the volume of the acid, and VB is the volume of the base. It's important to note that MA and MB are the molarity of protons and hydroxide ions, not necessarily the molarity of the acid or the base. Some acids have more than one proton, some bases have more than one hydroxide ion. We need to pay attention to that when we solve titration problems. Let's look at an example. This is on page nine of our unit 11 packet. If it takes 10.0 milliliters of 2.0 molar H2SO4 to neutralize 30.0 milliliters of KOH, what is the molar concentration of the KOH? Pause the video, try it on your own, and then when you're ready, we'll go through it together. So in order to do this, I'm going to use the titration equation, MA times VA equals MB times VB. Notice that the molarity of my protons is 4.0. That's because I have 2.0 molar solution of H2SO4, and that H2SO4 has two protons on it. Two times two is four. I've got 10.0 milliliters of the H2SO4 that I used. I don't know the molarity of the hydroxide ions. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And I've got 30.0 milliliters of the KOH that I used. Rearranging this, I wind up with 40 is equal to X times 30. So X is equal to 40 divided by 30.0. X is going to be equal to 1.3 molar solution of KOH rounded off to the nearest 10th. KOH only has one hydroxide ion on it, so the molarity of the hydroxide ions equals the molarity of the KOH. Thanks so much for watching our discussion of neutralization reactions. Make sure you can do the following things here at the end. Make sure that you can complete and balance a neutralization reaction, and also make sure that you can use the titration formula to solve for unknown concentration or predict a required volume for neutralization. If you can do those, you're doing great. If not, that's okay too. Take a moment and write down any questions that you have. You can always leave those questions in the comments below the video, or you can always get in touch with me. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.